Hey friends, welcome back and welcome to the Coyote Cafe. I want to introduce you to Jeff Giovino. I think you've met Jeff before. Jeff, this is amazing what you've done here. This place has quite a, a storied history, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. Yeah, you, you started out with just the small restaurant in the front and when did you do this expansion back here? Uh, well, we opened in 1993 and then uh, about seven years later in 2000, we added the bar and everything. And then seven years after that, we actually opened a banquet hall next banquet door. Hall. This bar is absolutely amazing. I don't know if I've ever seen a bar this long. It almost looks like a shuffleboard court here or something. <laughs> yeah. My friend uh, Franklin Serencioni, he uh, remodeled this whole place for me and it looks beautiful. Well, he really did a good job. You're lucky to have a friend like that. That's yeah. for sure. So tell me about the place. Uh, how long have you been open here? How uh, we've been open for 21 years. Like you said, it was only a 1,500 square foot restaurant. Yeah. Now it's about 5,000 square feet and uh, does pretty good. Um, uh, is it, this, this place is probably packed on the weekends, isn't it? Yep, everything goes good. We get a good happy hour crowd. We do good, a lot of caterings. We do dinner, lunch. Everything. Well, tell me, tell me about happy hour. What happens at happy hour? It goes what, four to seven? Uh, four to seven o'clock? Three to seven. Three to seven. Even yeah. better, yeah. better yet. <laughs> so we have uh, five dollar quesadillas. We have popper specials. We have two dollar domestic beers. We have four dollar margaritas, and uh, it goes pretty good. That's nice. Now, I know you don't bill yourself as a sports bar, but I guess with some of the screens you've got here, you probably get a crowd in with there's a Sabres game or maybe a Sunday Bills game. Or? Yeah, we're huge fans here. There's a lot of people here for the Bills game That's yesterday. Good. That's good. So take us down the line here and tell us what you've made for us. Um, this, this is the, you call this, this a quesadilla. Our, this is the biggest quesadilla I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, we call it a Mexican pizza, even though it's it's like an open-faced quesadilla. Yeah. It has our homemade salsa, our chorizo. We make tomatoes, cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. It smells wonderful. I yeah. The aroma it's delicious. is incredible. And you, you do a, a pineapple uh, we have a, relish? Or one of our best sellers is our chipotle quesadilla, where it's like a smoky chicken. Yeah. And it has a pineapple pico de gallo salsa it's oh, delicious wow. and, and that's you, you can make get, that in-house right yeah, yeah and you can get that at happy hour also oh that's great now the story behind these things in the middle you told us how you make this this is just outrageous yeah those are uh, those are our poppers that we make them they're with banana peppers we put cream cheese in our green chili sauce that we make here mm -hmm. and uh, we beer batter them and put a uh, panko spread crumbs on there and cover it with our chili con queso that we make here too how many different sauces do you have uh, we have our our enchilada sauce, our green chili sauce, our chili con queso, queso blanco, and, they, and some and of them are habanero sauce. And, yeah, really, some of them are really wicked. Yeah. Some are wicked hot, I'm sure. And then down here, I bet I know what this is because I'm an enchilada kind of guy. Yeah. That's what those are. Those are our chicken enchiladas with braised chicken and our sopa de fideo, which means soup of noodles. And it kind of looks like I think people call it Mexican spaghetti. Is yeah. that what they call it? Yeah. yeah. It's easier for the kids. Yeah, <laughs> easy for the kids. Uh, now, tell me about your catering. Uh, you'll cater to any group, large, small, whatever? Yeah, we do a lot in the city. You go to Williamsville, do a lot of pharmaceutical wraps and stuff. It's a big hit, you know what That's I mean? good, yeah. Oh, good Mexican food is hard yeah, to find. And, you, uh, and wings and stuff like that. And I think the fact that you've been here 21 years speaks for itself. You, you've really got an act going, or you wouldn't have been here that long. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, my employees make me look really good. <laughs> Are you open all seven days in the week? Uh, we're open. Monday through Saturday. We're closed on Sunday. Okay. All right. And is there ever a need for reservations? Uh, we take reservations for five or over. Okay. But normally we just do a call ahead. Yeah. Well, this is absolutely great. And we want to thank you for having us in. And I really, it's an old line, but I love what you've done with the place. Right. Well, <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. All right, Jeff. All right. It's a pleasure yeah, meeting nice you. Day. Folks, we're going to make sure you know how to find the Coyote Cafe. And like I said, you don't have to be wily to have a good time at the Coyote Cafe on Main Street in Hamburg.